All right, welcome back to the TubeSift Advanced Targeting Series. And like the title of the series says, we're gonna be talking all about advanced targeting options for YouTube ads. Today, we're gonna to be talking all about how to target people on YouTube based on their Google searches, right? So we all know that Google Pay Per Click is a phenomenal way to generate leads and sales. And, um, you know, people click on Google search ads. They're great. The only problem is, they can get very expensive, especially in some of the larger niches, right? Well, when you use YouTube targeting or YouTube ads and target their Google search terms, which I'm gonna show you how to do today, you can quickly and easily target people based on their search terms on Google for a fraction of the cost that you would pay with normal Google pay-per-click. So let's jump on over to my computer and I'll show you how it's done. All right, so here we are inside of the Google dashboard. We're gonna do the same thing as with most of the uh, advanced targeting options we've been talking about. We're gonna click this tools and settings and we're gonna to go to audience manager, right? And then we're gonna to go to custom segments up top and we're gonna click this plus button. Now, the first thing that pops up is uh, people with following interest or behaviors. So you can click this one that says people who search for any of these terms on Google. This is really, really cool. So from here, all you have to do is put Google search terms in here. So let's say we are going for weight loss, right? Um, and so I might type in weight loss and you can see some Google search term ideas that are going to come up. So boom, we can add that. Um, you can follow their suggestions, but honestly, it's easier to get all the auto suggest keywords. So I'm just going to come over here and I'm gonna do weight loss in the TubeSift keyword tool and you can see we have the Google search terms here and we got the suffix that's gonna pull the A to Z and you can choose wherever you wanna geo target there. So I'm going United States and this is gonna go weight loss, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Nailed it. Um, and then you can see all of these Google search terms that people are searching for uh, based on the autocomplete, which means, you know, if one of these is showing up, people are searching for it. So I can, uh, obviously I would, you know, go through here. We have 254 keywords. Um, we could do the word frequencies. Now I usually like to do that. I probably would, uh, you know, unselect Ohio, um, Columbus. It seems like Columbus, Ohio has a lot of people that want to um, lose weight in here. Uh, but there we go. We can see, you know, come through, pick some of these ones that maybe we don't need, um, you know, pull out some of the local ones in here. And we'll just go ahead and close that. Now we have 237 keywords and I'm just going to copy all of these. Uh, we could do broad, phrase, exact match, all that good stuff. Uh, but then we're just going to come right back over here and I'm just going to paste all of these. Obviously, you know, that's probably a lot. We might want to narrow this down a little bit, but you can kind of see how that would work. Um, they're not liking the words COVID in here, so I'd have to come through and, and remove. Oh, here we go. They made it easier to do that. Cool. Now you can see I am going to be targeting 1 billion to 5 billion impressions a week. Uh, here's the ages and uh, here's some, some different info about them, all that good stuff there. So um, that's all we have to do to target people based on their Google search terms. Uh, and when you do this, I would not recommend throwing as many keywords as I did in there. I just did that as an example. We can pull a bunch of them. Definitely group these together keep them a little more specific, uh, a little more tightly knit, and then make your ad creatives match those tightly knit groups, change out the hooks, and make your hooks match those things as well, and you'll have amazing results with, or you know, probably have you know, amazing ROI, amazing results with uh, these Google search terms here. So that's all you have to do. Uh, I did demo TubeSift in here, and that will help you find all those keywords quickly and easily, find which keywords are being searched the most uh, with the word frequency. You'll be able to dig in, get all that good stuff there. Uh, and then as always, if you do wanna know what types of ads are converting. You need some help coming up with good hooks, angles. You can check out Video Ad Vault. We have the search feature uh, and we can just type in, you know, weight loss or whatever. Um, find all the ads that are running for weight loss, what people are doing. This has 55, almost 56 million views right here. Um, but yeah, you, you can see what's working. Borrow some of those hooks, some of those angles and calls to action, things like that, and really knock your campaign out of the park on the first go around instead of trying like six different ads and all that good stuff. So that's it for me on this one. Hopefully you enjoyed the advanced targeting methods we've been talking about and I've got more to come. Bye for now.